Welcome to this week's FWI News Review. Coming up, confusion over DEFRA's environment plans, tractor buffs head to the UK's biggest machinery show, and Tim Ralph looks at an iconic farmhouse that's up for grabs. Plans to bring more environmental measures onto farms are in disarray after DEFRA refused to clarify its intentions. While DEFRA's dropped some of its original ideas, it's understood plans to force farmers in England to take 5% of land out of production are still on the table. Producers are already abandoning environmental stewardship schemes amid fears this could mean they'll have to take extra land out of production. DEFRA says it's working with the NFU and no final decisions have been made. The UK's biggest machinery show took place in Lincolnshire this week and Farmers Weekly machinery editor David Cousins was there to catch all the action. If you had a strong urge to be surrounded by tractors, sprayers, cultivators and balers, the Lama machinery show was the place to be. With more than 520 stands, it was eerily reminiscent of the machinery packed royal shows of the early 1980s or the glory days of the Smithfield show. There was only one problem, and that was getting there. Fine if you arrived early, but traffic problems meant that for some people, the last five miles took a couple of hours. So patience and strong bladders were the order of the day. Still, it was worth it when you got there. One man has dominated the headlines this week. Isabel Davis looks at what one FWI space user thinks of the new man at the top. Like the rest of the world, FWI Space Forum members were watching keenly as Barack Obama was sworn in as US President. Kansas Farmer, who as the name suggests is from the States, was in reflective mood on his blog, despite not being a huge fan. He wrote, Most of us who did not vote for Obama pray for him to be successful, because if he is not, our nation will suffer. We actually know very little about what to expect from him, but as Americans almost always do, we are going to hope for the best. When he was asked by other forum members what it meant for farming, he said, We do not want any more regulations on us than we already have. Kansas farmer, I think that's a sentiment that all UK farmers can share. Back to you, Caroline. Thanks, Isabel. And finally, film buffs with cash to spare are being offered the chance to buy an iconic farmhouse. Tim Ralph explains. Are you the farmer? That is one of the most famous lines from a fantastic cult film called With Nail and I. It starred, as its many, many fans will remember, Richard E. Grant and Paul McGann as two out-of-work thespians that went on holiday accidentally up to the Lake District. And they stayed in this glorious old ramshackling, run-down farmhouse, which I've just learned is up for sale. So if you want to acquire a little slice of movie history, Check it out. It's going on the, on the market under the hammer on the 16th of February. Agent Savills are selling it and they're looking for 145 grand or more. Think about it. That's it from me this week. For all the latest news, go to fwi.co.uk.